All right, so in this part, we're going to do lockout and do page protection. So for that, first, I'm going to go into the, the profile. And this is where we going to do lockout. So for example, right here, when the user click on this one, I'm going to do lockout. And I think before we doing that, we need to fix and handle the small case. So for example, what happened if there's an image URL here is null, so we can render something else. So for that, I can do something like this. I can cut this one, put in a new component. And right here, we can do another condition right here. So let's say data.image URL. So for example, if this one is null, okay, and oh, for, for first this one, if it's not, not null, we can render the image, all right? But if it's null, so for example, if it's null, we're gonna render another one. I'm gonna put the div right here. So this one is gonna do the h1. And so I'm gonna get the email address. So data.email, I'm gonna do with index zero. And for this one, it's the same thing. I'm gonna give the height of this one to 50 pixels and then the width of this one to let's say 50 pixel as well and then also i'm gonna do the flex item center and then we're gonna do justify center and also i'm gonna give the ring of this one to two as well okay i think same thing for this one let's give a ring of this one to two so let's imagine if the data at the image url here is null so i'm gonna give make this one fail and then so this one is going to be null and then it will render this one okay so right now if we go back here so we should be able to see this very nice so maybe we can fix this one a bit and then let's do the rounded uh, this one to full and then also detect this one to maybe 2xl and then the font is going to be bold and right now if you can see this is look a lot better all right nice so maybe i can change this one back to the right value nice okay so right like here we show the image and okay so right now let's do the lockout so i'm gonna create another function call handle lockout not lock in and right here we're gonna call the superbase is gonna be our superbase browser right here and for this one the first one that i wanted to do is to clear all of the cache uh, everything from uh, react query so maybe we can import that. So it's going to be query client is going to be use query client, this one. And then right here, I'm going to do call the reset. Okay. Or maybe this one is going to be clear. So this is will clear everything. And then I'm going to call the superbase dot os dot sign out. I can do a wait right here. And then we need to do an async for this one and then for this one i'm going to import the router so let's do the router equal to use a router and this one make sure you import it from next navigation go into router right here i'm going to do router.refresh right here okay nice so now let's go into the lockout right here and then we can call this one both on this one all right so when we on click in here we're gonna call the handle lockout and then i'm gonna make this one as a cursor to pointer and same things for this one and then let's give the cursor of this one to pointer as well so for that let's go into the cursor pointer great so right now as you can see if i click on here so you can see it now it toggle back to sign in if i refresh the user is still signed in and then we get the data here is going to be null all right so let's try it again so maybe i'm going to run this one and then lock in with our google right here and then it will redirect back at my session and then we got the data if i lock out so it's returned to this one very nice that's good so right now we complete our lockout so right now let's do the page protection so when the user is locked in so for that i need to lock in again and then i make sure that i cannot go back inside here all right so to do page protection we can go into this documentation and then let's go into the middleware right here and right now i can just copy this one and then let's go back and let's create a middleware i'm going to create the middleware this is middleware.ts and then i can paste this one right here 
And so right here, you, as you can see, this is will do the refresh and things like that. As you can see, based on the documentation, only read cookie, the middleware example, can use to refresh expired token before loading server component route. All right, so this is for the server component route. And so one thing we can use is one to do page protection. There's two ways that you can do. Either you can go inside the H page. Let's say before of each page, you can fetch the get the session, uh, get user session. And then after that, you um, redirect them to any page. Uh, it's up to you. Or you can use the middleware, which I'm going to do here. So for here, maybe I can change this one to get the session instead. And then from here, we should be able to uh, get the session from our user. And so here we need to check to see which path that the request is going to because the middleware will run on every page that you request to except the one that you put in here so you can see much all the request paths except for the one that's starting with this one this one and right here uh, this is your condition if you want if you don't want to the middleware to run on a specific uh, to run on a specific page you can opt into chain into this one as well okay so inside here so we can check if uh, whether the pass name so for that let's uh, get the pass name is going to be current url is going to be equal to new dot url is going to be request dot url and then we can go into the console dot lock and then we can dot lock the url dot pass name okay so make sure you do this so right now if i go back in here maybe if i refresh this one and then if we go into the console.log, so as you can see, this is our pass name, the OS pass right here. So from here, we can check if there's a data about session, if there's a session, okay? And if, let's say the URL that path names is equal to the slash OS. And so right here, we need to redirect them back to, to the home page. So it means you are logging. But you, if you navigate to the OS page, we're going to redirect you back to the home page. So for that, I can copy the code right here. So this one is will next respond redirects to the home page right here. Okay. And, and so right here else, if it's not, so we can just do returned. So if it's not right here, we can just do return respond. All right. Which exactly is this one. And then, so right here, we're going to do else if there's no session. And so this is like depend on the page that you want to protect. So maybe let's say if you do the URL pass name, maybe let's say you have a dashboard. So I'm going to just try to pretend that we have a dashboard page. And if you try to access this one, so we're going to redirect you back to the OS page. So for example, right here, if you try to navigate to the dashboard uh, and then it since there's no, you do not have any session. So we will redirect you to the OS. And but if for the other page, we can do just return the respond right here. So maybe we can remove this one. Okay. So this one is good to go. So right now, since I am locking, so if I try to refresh this one again, so you can see it will always redirect me back in here. And if I try to go off right here, and so you can see. So the same thing for this one. So if we go into create another page, which is going to be, let's say, a dashboard to the page.tsx and I can run this one and right now if I try to navigate into the dashboard since I'm already locked in so I'll be able to see this one maybe I can change this one to dashboard but for example if I lock in if I lock out so this one should redirect me to the OS page instead so you can see it's redirect me back to the OS page okay but as you can see the URL here is wrong because we are on the OS page but it show the dashboard so for that, we can fix this one. So I think the best way to fix this one, first, I need to create the constants uh, for this. I'm going to go into the, let's say index, create this one. It's going to be index.ts. And let's go into create, let's say, the protected and the page, okay? Protected pass, maybe. And this is going to be an array. So the pass that we want to protect right now, let's go with the, the dashboard. And then maybe let's say if you have another patch, you can put it right here. Maybe I'm going to create another page soon. We'll call this one called the profile. Okay. All right. So this is the protected pass. So we can use this one first in the middleware, but I need, we need to export this so then we can use it everywhere. 
export okay and then maybe i i think this one should be uppercase so it's constant okay so um, right here instead of do equal we can do uh, this one instead so let's go here and then we're gonna do dot include all right so i think make sure i do import this one and then i'm gonna do dot include so if it's include this path name and then we're gonna do this one and also we're gonna redirect this one back uh, with the next as well so i'm gonna do this one next is gonna be plus equal to the url dot pass name all right so you can see very nice so right now let's say for example if i try to navigate into the dashboard so as you can see right now it will redirect me to the os page plus with the dashboard as well okay and the next operator the next function is will take me to the uh the dashboard and so for that let's go into the auth page and then for this one so you can see you can use the next and the next right here and then you can use it uh, right over here so this one we're gonna do next is gonna be equal to so we need to get a query param so for that let's go inside here and then let's go inside the use search param right here and then we should be able to get the param params and make sure that i import this one ah, i see this one need to be uppercase since we use the hook and so this one we're going to get the next so then let's go into the params so it's going to be next equal to params dot next okay oh no dot get next right here and then so we can get the next value so we can do the plus right here all right great so right now it's going to go back in here and so since i'm um, do this one so if i lock in again with google so after redirect it will redirect me to the dashboard okay so this is will be do that so but if i try maybe we can create the link navigation to that one go into the page and then i'm going to create a couple links so here i'm going to do link and then href this one so make sure we import or import this one from next link and the first one is going to be the dashboard and the dashboard right here let's copy this another one that's probably we're going to create soon is going to be profile which is going to be profile maybe i can do something like this first okay so right now let's go back so if i try to go to dashboard very nice and if i try to lock out okay it, it's changing but as you can see the url here is still wrong so this one is switch it shoots it should uh, switch to the url that we supposed to be c which is going to be this one right and so the way that we do that if you go into lockout we can be able to do this so first the way that we do is we can check if the pass name is inside the protected pass name so oh maybe we can do this so we can get the pass name pass name is equal to use pass name and so right here we can replace this one with the auth so if the path name maybe if that no if that protected pass dot includes inside the path name all right so if this is if this is the case so we're going to do router dot replace it's going to be slash auth right and then we're going to do next is going to be equal to plus the path name as well and then I'll just replace them with the, I think maybe we can just replace this one with the OS page right here. Oops. Or maybe else we can just do the, we, we don't have to do, we have, we don't have to do anything. Because for example, it's non-protected page, it will, the user can still be able to see that page. So why bother uh, doing that? But this is good for the protected page only. And right now, if I go into here, I go to the dashboard. It will redirect me to something like this and if i try to lock in again it should redirect me to dashboard very nice since i'm in the dashboard if i lock out it's redirect me to something like this you can see if i lock in again it redirect me back to dashboard so to double check this one maybe we can create another page which is going to be all profile and then we're going to do page.tsx ofc 
and this is we're gonna call this one h1 profile and right now we go in here so since i'm logged in i should be able to get to the profile if i am logged out i should redirect back to the auth page and the next right here is going to be profile if i click on this one it should redirect me to the profile page okay that's good to go so right now if i lock out from the home page as you can see it still be the home page because this page here is not protected so it's it, it, it doesn't matter so we don't have to redirect them to the os so all right so i think that's pretty much it for this one all right hope you enjoy